welcome back to another vlog guys uh, first off I want to say thank you for everyone that subscribed and uh, liked the video we've gotten some positive feedback from you guys and we really appreciate the support we're gonna keep banging out these videos for you guys so make sure to subscribe if you're not already subscribed to keep up to date with the builds pretty soon we'll have the black OBS here on the channel uh, I'll give you guys a walk around of both the black one and this blue MBS we have here. We got a couple parts that we ordered in the mail today, so we'll be uh, installing those today. We got the the front bow tie, as you guys have noticed, and my videos are static Leo videos. It's been missing, so we'll go ahead and install that. And we're also going to be installing the third brake light. There's nothing wrong with that one. It's just a little yellowed out, so we want to give it a newer look. All right, guys. So here we have the bow tie that I ordered. We went with the gloss black finish to complement the black wheels and the black and blue theme going on around the whole truck. It came with the, with the washers, the studs, and the nuts to tighten down the bow tie. Alright guys, so we're going to go ahead and install the studs to the back of the bow tie. We'll go ahead and tighten them down, that way it doesn't fall off while you're driving. Make sure not to uh, over tighten them, because you could strip the the thread or the the stud itself just, just so they don't feel loose as long as they don't feel loose you should be good um, I forgot to mention but I did get this off eBay it's nothing fancy uh, it is some type of aluminum so it's not some cheap plastic I think I'm not sure on the price I can't remember off the top of my head but if you guys are interested let me know put a link Don't mind the dirty engine bay, haven't had time to wash it, plus it's getting cold out so I gotta find a day where it's not so cold that I can wash it. It's a pretty quick easy install, you basically just pop the bow tie in, slap the washers on and the nuts and you're good to go. think once you have it seated properly you just go up pop your hood go behind the grill and throw the washers on it one on each side and that's so the washers they came with were a little too big they didn't sit flush enough so uh, I went and found some smaller ones here so if you do plan on using the washers you'll have to find some that do fit sorry if the video is a little dark days are getting shorter and uh, we don't have much time to record I do have a full time job but uh I am making some time to film these videos for you guys so make sure to subscribe and share the videos tell your homie, tell your mom, tell your uncle, tell everyone <laughs> tell them to check out the videos alright so now we got the nuts installed you just want to make sure that the bow tie is sitting flush against the grill and this one is so we'll go ahead and tighten them down so we'll be good to go Same thing with these, you don't want to over tighten them. You can break your grill. Looks good, let me know what you guys think. I think it was a much needed uh, part for the truck. That's why I went ahead and ordered it right away. It's like a glossy finish, huh? Yeah, it's like a my fingerprints on it but it's a gloss black finish there was an option for a smooth without the outline i don't know if you guys can catch it on camera but i stuck with the outline the classic look oh yeah you can see it good right we also like i mentioned we ordered the third brake light so we'll go ahead and install that and give you guys a final overlook once everything is installed
So here we have the third brake light that I ordered. I also ordered this one off of eBay. I didn't find anything exactly like the tail lights. I wanted the red smoke look, but there was none. So I just got the. I'll show you guys here in a minute. This is what I went with. It was the one that matched the most. It just has the reverse lights smoked out as well, just like the tail lights. It also came with the foam gasket, so uh, that's pretty good, so you don't get any water inside. I'll go ahead and install that. I'll let you guys check it out. So it looks like it's just two uh, Phillips screws on there, and it should pop right out. It's all kind of rusted though, so. But as you guys can tell on this one, it's really yellowed out and faded from the top. It doesn't have any more clear. So it was time for a new third brake light. It should just pop out now. There it goes. So once you pop it off, it just has a one connection back here you basically just lift this plastic clip up and it should pop right out just like that <clears throat> I'll give you guys a little side by side comparison ahora si listo para la truck me cut <laughs> Get on the cool. Get on the cool. Mi papá me prestó la troca para llevarla a la truck me cool. Vamos a ir a quemar llanta cool. Ah, oh, ok. Recuerda me cool. Ah, oh, ok. Hey, dog. I think you could go. Huh? Why are you lurking? Why are you lurking? <laughs> Just like that. Once we got that done. I forgot to mention, but this one does come with the LED resistor, so you don't have to worry about hyper flash or something. I don't even know if these hyper flash, but it came with it, so <laughs> now we'll just plug it back in. <laughs> biffing it back here. <laughs> <laughs> Camera man almost lost it. <laughs> Alright guys, so here's the third brake light. That's how it looks when we're on the brakes. And when you turn on the cargo lamps, turn on the cargo lamp. That's what you get. It's kind of hard to tell right now. But at night, it'll look a lot better. I also went ahead and ordered some LED bulbs. We'll be switching out these yellow yellow bulbs for some LEDs. So it looks a lot better. All right, guys. So we just went ahead and uh, changed out the bolts for the plate. Even though there's no plate right now, as you can see, there are. Uh, LED white now on both sides. It's gonna look a lot better uh, during the nighttime. It's gonna wrap up the truck with uh, all the LED uh, mods that we have done to it. I don't think I've showed you guys yet, but we also changed out the interior lights on the truck to LED because they were the ugly yellow lights that they come with. As you can see, we did both doors, they're LED. Doesn't look that great right now, but at night, it looks a lot better. I really like this LED upgrade they did on the cluster. It looks really bright at night. We also did the overhead lights, LED. Just gives it a lot of a better look. Here's another look at the bow tie. 
I think it just finishes off the truck. It really was missing it. We also need to get the fog lights working. They're not working at the moment. I haven't had time to check them out, but we'll get to it eventually. Another thing I plan on switching out on this truck are the mirrors. I want to get the paintable ones. That way we could color match it as well. Let me know what else you guys want to see done to this truck. I'll be reading the comments. Like I said, appreciate the support. Everyone watching the videos. Everyone subscribing. In the background, we got the Brothers Vet. It's a beast. <laughs> beast. Let me know if you guys are interested. You can make some content on that as well. Alright guys, so that's going to do it for this video. Like I said, we'll keep banging out these videos as long as you guys keep subscribing and liking. Uh, we really do appreciate the support that we've been getting on our first video. And uh, make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll catch you guys on the next one.